One's it. Who's out there? Oh, it's you, city boy. What do you want? Why am I out here when everybody else has gone inside? Well, for one thing, I like the quiet. You don't do subtlety, do you? All right. Pull up a hay bale. I'm out here while everybody else is in there having a good time and hooting and hollering and carrying on because I like it quiet. I like it still. You understand? You ask a lot of questions for somebody who understands the value of silence. Dancing has never been my thing. Ever. No, not even when I was a kid. I swear to God. Listen. There and there, having their little shindig. Boys dancing with girls. Don't you want to go to that? No? And why is that? I know I make fun of you and all that, but you're a handsome looking young man. You can get in there and for sure they'll teach you a couple things. Besides, I got a surprise for you. Dancing out here in the country, it's pretty straightforward. I'm sure some Sally or Sue will teach you. <clears throat> You're not interested. Hmm. You know, I didn't really ask why, but go ahead. Why don't you tell me anyway? Feel like you're gonna. Not really into women, huh? Hmm. All right, I'll buy it. Might as well break the silence. Is that a common thing nowadays? Men who like men. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to assume, but... Well, then, answer my question. Some places, huh? Never let it be said that I'm not a fair man. The reason that I've never gone to a dance is because I'm that way too.
Well, no. Uh, nowadays, I know that it's absolutely normal. Uh, I've lived with myself and my silence for long enough to know that it's not a bad thing or a wrong thing. It's just how I am. And that didn't exactly encourage me to go to dances more. The silence is still a thing I value. What did you just say to me? No, go on, repeat it. Do I want to dance with you? <laughs> Awfully forward, aren't you, city boy? What part of I don't like dancing made you think that I would say yes to a dance with you? I'll tell you what I will do with you is I'll sit here in companionable silence and I won't pick you up and throw you back through the door of that there barn. Loud? You think it's loud out here. That's just crickets and peepers. Normal night noises, what are you talking about? Aren't you used to cars driving by, trucks and all sorts of noise going on, club music and all that? Different kind of noise, huh? Well, this here is the noise that puts me at peace. Let's me forget for a minute. We haven't known each other near long enough for you to be asking me a question like that. I like the silence because it lets me clear my mind, empty it out of all the crap I have to worry about all day, including looking after you. Oh yeah, that's one of my responsibilities. You knew. You're not from around here. You've never done this kind of work before, and if you do it wrong, I have to go back and fix it. So making sure that you do it right in the first place. Well, that holds a certain value for me. Oh, hell. Is there no end to your questioning? All right. What is it this time? What do you mean, why did I lie to you? Yeah, I know that I said that. I know that I said that it's my job. It's your... cattle-moving partner that It's my job to take care of you. Listen, if you don't want to be partners with me for the cattle drive, just say that.
Gum it, you ruin the fire. Just, just be quiet. Watch this fire, make sure it doesn't burn out of control. I'm going for a walk. Gotta make sure that the damn horses, dogs,